Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial and this is actually the first application for our telegram bot it's going to be a simple um, python echo server and it's going to be the basis for our next applications so for this we're going to be using python 3 so i'm using python uh, 3.8.0 so if you don't have the uh, the python installed you can go to python.org and just download it install it and you'll be good to go all right so we're going to be using the idle um the idle provided by the python so i'm gonna open it i'm gonna go to file create a new file i'm going to save this um okay so i'm calling it echo underscore server so actually in this folder we have the folder of ssl which is, which are actually the uh, certificates that we generated for our um, basiltech.ddns.net no ip subdomain so let's go back to our idle so first of all we have to import the socket server import http.server import ssl import json and import requests actually requests is a library that is not installed by default so we want to install actually the requests library so to do this we have to get first the um, the path or the directory where the python is installed so I'm gonna search for Python, right click on it, open file location, open file location. Here we go, so this is the path of the Python. So we wanna actually go to the scripts folder and we wanna copy this, um, this directory path and then go to the environment variables and edit the system environment variables. We wanna go to the environment variables button and then in the path, we wanna just edit this variable and we want to add our new path to it and then click OK 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 let's now open our CMD and type in here pep install requests and here we go it's now downloading your requests library for us okay so uh, now we are done Let's go back to our code. So what we're going to want to do now is actually define the class that is going to be the handler of the requests that come from the Telegram API. So I'm going to name this class my handler and it's going to inherit from http.server.simple http request handler. And this uh, this class is gonna actually have two functions. The first one is do underscore post, and the second one is def do underscore get. So obviously, one of them is going to be responsible for the post requests, which are the actual requests sent by the uh, API. Basically, for the um, get requests what we're gonna want to do is just simply send the response I mean so self dot send underscore response 200 which means that okay we receive your request self dot end headers so basically we're not doing anything all right and regarding the post requests the first thing that we're gonna do is actually receiving the post data so i'm going to create a variable post underscore data is going to be equal to self the r file dot read and then we're going to give it the length of the content that we want to read so it's going to be an end so we're going to cast this to an end and we're going to get the uh, content length from self dot headers and in between two square brackets we're gonna type content dash length so by this we read the 
post data. So it's actually a JSON data sent by the uh, Telegram API. So we want to convert this into JSON data. So I'm going to create a variable JSON underscore data that's going to be equal to JSON dot load s and then we give it our data post underscore data okay so right now we are having a json object containing um, the data that are that is sent from the telegram api which actually looks like this so this is the structure of the json object so actually we're interested in two things we're interested in getting the ID of the sender and also of course getting the message uh, of the sender so we are getting this and getting this so to get the ID of the sender or we can call it the, the chat ID actually so we are going to go to the message then the from then the ID and to get the the text of the message then we're gonna go to the message and then the text directly so going back to our code we're gonna fetch both of them so the first one is the chat underscore ID and it's gonna be equal to JSON underscore data of message oops of message of from of ID right and to get the uh, the user input actually I'm gonna call user underscore input it's gonna be equal to JSON underscore data of message of text right okay so now I'm gonna create a function that is going to return the response of the uh, of our server whatever it is so let's let's define our function here def get response it's gonna take the user underscore input right and for this simple echo server it's gonna just return the user underscore input as is so our bot underscore output is gonna be equal to get response and then we send it the user underscore input right okay so the next thing is actually to define the URL that we're gonna send our um, response to right so this URL is gonna be equal to remember the uh, the telegram API URL that we used before to set the web hook we're going to use the same the same URL but actually now um, the the function will change so it's no longer set web hook it's actually going to be send message so this is the function that we'll be using so I'm gonna copy all of this and this is going to be actually our URL that we're using here right so the next thing that you're gonna want to do is actually send the request to the API of the telegram right to send it back to the user so what we'll be doing is the following we're gonna we're gonna create our request I'm gonna call it R is equal to requests dot post we're sending a post request right and then first of all we're gonna give it our URL so URL is equal to URL and then we're give it our parameters so params is equal to and actually the parameters that we're sending are going to be in a dictionary right so the first thing that we're sending is the chat underscore ID so between two quotations I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it chat underscore ID and then I put a colon and then put our chat underscore ID and then a comma and then we're sending the text right and this text is going to be the bot underscore output and then if r dot status underscore code is equal equal to 200 which means that our request was successful then self dot send underscore response 
200 which means that all oh good I received your um, request and then self the end underscore headers and that's it right okay so the next thing that we're gonna want to do is actually create the object of our server so I'm gonna call it server it's gonna be equal to socket server dot TCP server and then we're gonna give it a tuple for the IP and the, the uh, port that the server will listen to so the first thing is the IP 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 which means uh, it's going to listen to all the possible IPs um, for for this machine and then a comma and then our port which is 8443 and then after this tuple a comma and the handler of our um, requests which is my handler all right the next thing actually is to add the SSL to our socket so server dot socket is equal to SSL dot wrap underscore socket and then we give it the socket which is actually the server dot socket and then a comma and then we start giving it the SSL files actually so the first thing is CA underscore certs it's gonna be equal to SSL slash SSL is my folder okay so SSL slash CA underscore bundle dot CRT then a comma and then we're gonna enter the cert file which is gonna be equal to SSL slash certificate dot CRT and then a comma and then the key file which is going to be equal to SSL slash private dot key and finally server underscore side is equal to true and that's it with this socket so right now we're gonna run our server so server dot serve underscore forever and that's it oops this is cert file okay so it seems like we're having a small typo here this is self not slif self and we should be good to go let's run again our server okay so now I'll start talking with my bot so I'm gonna hit we're gonna hit the start button so it says slash start so he replies slash start so let's uh, type in hi the response is hi and basil tech the response is basil tech so that's it guys for this um, echo server tutorial in Python and see you in another application